Are there any side effects to the NUCA adjustment? Well, since we're not taking the neck and doing this, and we're not taking the lower back and doing this, and we're not taking your lawnmower and doing this, there's very little chance for you or your lawnmower to be injured with the NUCA adjustment. So if the adjustment itself is very, very safe, then what does the adjustment actually do? And I'd like to answer that by drawing a diagram. So hold tight. So just look at the widespread effects of the little atlas bone adjustment. Now, of course, we're not just affecting the atlas bone. Structurally, it's the C1 through C3 mechanoreceptors. And at the speed of sound, as I'm touching the spine, that goes, gets the pressure off of, and stimulates the nerves to the brain stem, the cerebellum, down here into the vestibular nucleus, which controls the person's posture. Now what I want you to understand is this. If we can get that postural change, because I don't rely on the cracking noise to know if I've accomplished the adjustment. I rely on measuring the posture by way of hip imbalance or leg length asymmetry. That should come back towards normal. And if we can do that, Look at what else we must have also affected. The amygdala, that's your stress and anxiety center. People get adjusted here, they feel at, more at peace. Why? Because when your spine's on your nerves, other people and other things can get on your nerves more easily. The hippocampus, your learning ability, your ability to remember birth dates and things. People come in here, they have brain fog, they get adjusted, they leave usually thinking more clearly. What about the hypothalamus? That feeds directly into the pituitary gland, and then that regulates your entire neuroendocrine system, or your chemistry, your, your hormonal balance. We're gonna do an entirely separate video on that because that's so important. And then over here, this is a fancy word for part of the brainstem, the nucleus intermedius, and that controls your tongue swallowing an airway, the thalamus, which then goes to the cerebral cortex, which is your ability really to feel pain and to perceive pain. The cranial nerves five and seven, orofacial, oral motor control, your ability to feel in your face, as well as move your jaw so you can chew your food. Over here, the muscles of your soft palate, your larynx, your pharynx, your breathing through your nose, as well as through your mouth. Right over here, another long Latin word, nucleus tractus solitaris, that's another relay station in the brainstem. And look at that, that feeds directly into your, your immune system, your sensory system, your ability to recognize pathogens and to stop the replication of bad cells, cancerous cells, to deal with pathogens, bacteria, viruses, and things like that in the environment. And look at this, vagus nerve, that's the one that Christopher Reeve or Superman injured, and if you remember, he had a machine literally to control everything in his body. Separate machines oftentimes to control the different functions. He had a certain machine controlling his heart, okay? The heart disease is the silent killer in this country. It kills so many people. So just imagine how important it is, regardless of symptoms, that we optimize the nerve flow going to the heart. And then what about the lungs, your ability to breathe and get oxygen circulation and have energy throughout the day? And your digestive system, see? You get more out of your nutrients, which makes it more bioavailable. You aren't what you eat, you are what your body can use. So this is truly a uh, 27 birds with one stone phenomenon that we're doing here. It's kind of like a one-two punch. We're playing offense and defense resilience and wellness, as I like to say, at the same time. So truly, truly, truly here, the side effects to the NUCA atlas adjustment are the benefits.